Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1987 through 1994 basketball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on January 21st. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1988 Fleer Magic Johnson card number 67. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $25.20. Up next at number 49 is this 1991 Upper Deck Magic Johnson vs. Michael Jordan, card number 34. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $26.40. Coming in at number 48 is this 1994 Skybox Emotion Michael Jordan, card number 100. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $27.60. We're headed to the inaugural 1991 Upper Deck Basketball set at number 47 with this Michael Jordan MVP award winner hologram card number AW4. This Jordan was in a SGC 9 and it sold for $27.60. Coming in at number 46 is this 1990 Panini Michael Jordan sticker, sticker number K. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $27.60. Up next at number 45 is this 1993 Finest Michael Jordan card number 1. This card was ungraded but authenticated by MBA and it sold for $30 even. Coming in at number 44 is this 1988 Foreigner Michael Jordan card number 22. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $31.20. Shaq makes his first appearance on today's list at number 42 with this 1992 Stadium Club Members Choice Rookie card number 201. This was an SGC 10 and it sold for $38.40. Up next at number 41 is this 1992 Upper Deck Michael Jordan MVP Card number 67. This was an SGC 10 and it sold for just short of $40. Coming in at number 40 is this 1988 Fleer Michael Jordan sticker, sticker number 7. This was a PSA 7 and it sold for $40.80. We get a pretty rare card I don't believe we've ever seen before on these weekly auctions at number 39 with this 1991 Tough Stuff Junior Hand Cut Magic Johnson card number 14. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $45.60. Coming in at number 38 is this 1992 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Award Winner Holograms, card number AW9. This Jordan hologram was in a BGS9 and it sold for $48 even. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 37 with this 1988 Fleer John Stockton Rookie, card number 115. This was a PSA 9 
and it also sold for $48. Up next at number 36 is this 1991 Little Son Wooden Awards Michael Jordan card number 13. This Jordan was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $49.20. Coming in at number 35 is this 1993 Stadium Club Beam Team Michael Jordan card number 4. This insert was ungraded but authenticated by MBA and it sold for just over $50. We welcome another newcomer to the list at number 34 with this 1993 Ultra Scoring Kings Charles Barkley card number one. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $51.60. Coming in at number 33 is this 1989 Hoops Michael Jordan All-Star card number 21. This was a BGS Gem Mint 9.5 and it also sold for $51.60. Up next at number 32 is this 1993 Ultra Famous Nicknames Michael Jordan card number 7. This was an SGC9 and it sold for $55.20. Coming in at number 31 is this 1994 Tops Embossed Golden Idols Michael Jordan card number 121. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $56.40. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1993 Ultra Power in the Key Michael Jordan card number 2. This Jordan insert was in a BGS 7 and it sold for $72. Shaq makes another appearance on today's list at number 29 with this 1992 Topps Gold Rookie card number 362. This Gold Parallel Rookie was in a BGS 9 and it also sold for $72 even. We're back to the 1988 Fleer Basketball set at number 28, this time with Dennis Rodman's Rookie with card number 43. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $74.40. Up next at number 27 is this 1992 Ultra Shaq Rookie card number 328. This rookie was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $76.80. Coming in at number 26 is this 1992 Topps Gold Michael Jordan card number 205. This Jordan was in a SGC 10 and it sold for $81.60. We're headed to the inaugural 1992 Ultra Basketball set at number 25 with this Michael Jordan award winner card number 1. This was also an SGC 10, and it also sold for $81.60. Coming in at number 24 is this 1988 Fleer Dennis Rodman Rookie Auto, card number 43. This was a BGS authenticated auto, and it sold for just over $100. Coming in at number 23 
is this 1993 Finest Michael Jordan card number one. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $103.20. Up next at number 22 is this 1992 Ultra Michael Jordan card number 27. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $105.60. We're back to the 1988 Fleer basketball set at number 21, this time with Scottie Pippen's rookie with card number 20. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $112.80. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1993 Nike Warner MJ Aerospace Michael Jordan. This was an SGC 9.5, and it sold for $126. Up next at number 19 is this 1993 Fleer Jam Sessions Shaquille O'Neal, card number 160. This second year Shaq was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $126. Coming in at number 18 is this 1992 Upper Deck Michael Jordan, card number 453. This was a PSA 10, and it also sold for $126. Up next at number 17 is this 1987 Fleer Michael Jordan sticker, sticker number two. This was a BGS 8, and it sold for $150. We're sticking to the 1987 Fleer basketball set at number 16, this time with Michael Jordan's base card with card number 59. This card was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $162. Up next at number 15 is this 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan card number 26. This Jordan was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $186. Coming in at number 14 is this 1988 Fleer Michael Jordan card number 17. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $240. Coming in at number 13 is this 1992 Upper Deck Michael Jordan card number 453. This was the air variation in a SGC 10 and it sold for $264. Up next at number 12 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Members Only Shaq Rookie card number 21. This rookie insert was in a BGS 9, and it sold for $276. Coming in at number 11 is this 1991 Panini Stickers Michael Jordan All-Star, sticker number 96. This was a BGS 9.5, and it sold for $288. Make that back-to-back All-Stars to kick off the top 10, this time with Michael Jordan's All-Star card from the 1988 Fleer basketball set with card number 120. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $336. Scottie Pippen makes another appearance on today's list at number 9, 
with his 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team members only, card number 5. This insert was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $348. Coming in at number 8 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Members Only Charles Barkley, card number 15. This insert was also in a PSA 10, and it sold for $384. Up next at number 7 is this 1992 Fleer Tony's Pizza Shack Rookie Auto. This was a PSA 10 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it also sold for $384. Coming in at number six is this 1990 North Carolina Collegiate Collection Say No to Drugs Michael Jordan. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $492. All right, guys, and before we get to the top five, I do have a total of 12 bonus cards to share with you guys today, mainly looking for players that missed the top 50. And we'll start off with this 1987 Fleer Carl Malone card number 68. This was a BGS 9, and it sold for $20.40. For another Shaq rookie, I ran across his 1992 Hoops rookie with card number 442. This rookie was in a PSA 9 and it sold for $19.20. For another Scotty Pippen, I ran across his 1989 Fleer with card number 23. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $16.80. For a couple more cards of the Millman, we'll start off with this 1988 Fleer Carl Malone card number 114. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $15.60. I also ran across Carl Malone's 1989 Hoops with card number 30. This was an SGC 10 and it also sold for $15.60. I want to say we saw three or four of the 1988 Fleer basketball rookies on the top 50, but one of the other key rookies that missed the top 50 was this 1988 Fleer Reggie Miller rookie, card number 57. This was a BGS 7.5 and it sold for $14.40. Up next I found this 1990 Hoops Mark Jackson, card number 205. This was a CSG 8 and it sold for $14.40. For another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1987 Fleer Hakeem Olajuwon card number 80. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $13.20. For a Hall of Fame player that usually makes the top 50 weekly list, we get this 1989 Hoops Larry Bird, card number 150. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $12 even. For another player I don't believe we've seen in the top 50 for a couple months now, we get this 1991 Skybox Clyde Drexler, card number 237. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $12. Up next is this 1988 Fleer Patrick Ewing card number 80. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $10.80. And for our 12th and final bonus card, another player that missed the top 50, we usually see one of his rookie cards, but not this week. We get this 1990 Fleer Sensations David Robinson, card number one. This was a BGS 9, and it also sold for $10.80. 
And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1991 Hoops Prototypes Michael Jordan, card number four. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $630. Up next at number four is this 1989 Bulls equal Michael Jordan card number six. This was a BGS 9.5 and it sold for $660. Coming in at number three is this 1992 Fleer Drake's Michael Jordan card number seven. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $810. Up next at number two is this 1990 Action Pack Promos Gold Michael Jordan. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $1,440. and make that five straight top five appearances to top off today's list at number one with this 1993 Ultra Inside Outside Michael Jordan card number four. This Jordan was in a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,800. Thanks for joining me today guys and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.